Hey everybody, got something different today. What you see on my screen here is a unreleased render engine called OmniArc. And what OmniArc is all about is beautiful visuals and easy interactivity. Look at that, I just turned on the lights. Just one simple click. So before I do a deep dive, let me talk about how I got here. The developers are actually running a Kickstarter campaign right now. And that's how I came across this. And I thought it was super interesting. So I reached out to the developer to find out a little bit more because I was actually really impressed that a team of just three people came up with this. Um, and they've been working on this for the past several years. So really cool that they've been working on this and to put this together. So after talking to the dev and doing some research, I found something really interesting. The dev's name sounded really familiar to me. And I realized that the dev was actually really big in the Minecraft space. The main dev originally started out making beautiful photorealistic mods in Minecraft. See, there you go. All this is explorable. It's a mod. It makes it look photorealistic. And this is actually how I originally came across this dev many, many years ago. I was always blown away by these like beautiful demos of, of the mod. So they realized that there were certain limitations with Minecraft. That's a render engine, right? And it was time to use something a little bit more robust so they can make a proper visualization tool. So that's what brought us here. They were kind enough to share a build with me. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about what it's about, what you can do in it right now, um, and why I think it's, it's pretty cool. But if anything resonates with you and you think it's super cool, go ahead and back them. Um, I'll drop the link in the description. But just like some quick overview is their focus, again, is simplicity, interactivity, which I think is really great because a lot of the, the tools we use can be a little complicated, right? There's, there's all these different settings. Making things interactive is like a whole complicated process. You know, if you think about how to do some of this in Unreal Engine, it takes a long time. It's, it's not just like, oh, you drop the light and you're ready to go like this. You actually have to set up a lot of triggers. You have to set up some UI elements, um, collisions, just so everything can interact with the player's controller. So it is built on an Unreal Engine backend, and that's why we're getting these beautiful photorealistic visuals um, all in real time. What kind of separates this from Unreal is we actually have two components of the software. There's the designer, think of that as the editor, and then there's the explorer. And this is, think of this as your .exe export. And that's just a stripped down version of the software that your client can use, interact with, fly around, do their own thing. Um, so you're basically working to create that .exe which is really different from, you know, what we're usually used to because we're usually exporting out like 2D images or animations. It's nice to have this kind of interactive deliverable that a more tech savvy client could use, right? And kind of going back to the backstory of all this, you know, this is just three devs that have put this together. And they say here, you know, they went viral doing these Minecraft videos. And that's, that's literally how I heard about them. So it's crazy to see, you know, five years ago, what they've been able to do. So again, links in the description. Definitely check out this Kickstarter. I think it's super impressive. So now let's hop over to OmniArc and talk about what you can do. So in OmniArc, you have two different views. You have your immersive view, which is what I'm in right now. So this activates collisions and everything, uh, interactivity. And this is how I can actually experience the space, which is really nice because I could literally walk from, you know, you saw me over here at the entrance of the house all the way to a bedroom and actually have a really good understanding of what that process is like, which we typically don't do because, you know, we usually do like 2D images. I can literally click on a door and it'll open for me. And even to set up a door in Unreal Engine, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So to have this be interactive is super cool. So again, you know, I'll be using the word experiential a lot because this is, this is what, it, you know, kind of architecture is all about, like the experience of moving through space. So it's nice that this is simplifying a lot of those, those difficult tasks for us. So again, this is immersive view. If I double hit spacebar, I'm going to switch into my editor. And so this editor might look similar in a way to like any 3D rendering software. But just to go through the tabs here, this is our model library. So this is your container for all your assets. So I can literally click and drag and bring out an asset. I've got a little gizmo here, which you know I've got my move gizmo. I hit space, I can rotate it. And what you'll notice here, I have all the different material channels exposed. So I can easily just swap out an asset. So as I hover over this, it's telling me it's that wireframe here that's going to be edited. So just to show you the material editor, I click this, select. It's going to shift me over here. So instead of doing this black, if I just click this, you'll see that it's changed to this chrome color, which is pretty neat. If I hit edit, I can then tweak 
you know, a lot of the parameters. So I can play with the, uh, the roughness and everything. As you can see, I'm making it shinier. I can play with the, the metalness of the object. And once I do that, then I can play with these specular highlights, which are these guys right here. So it's just like most uh, rendering tools, you're gonna have all that exposed, which is really nice. And all this is editable, of course. So once you exit the editor, and then with the eyedropper, I can easily select other assets if I want. So anyways, we'll move on to the next part. Uh, we've got lights, okay? So check this out. If I wanted to add lights right over here, all I have to do is just drag out a rectangular light and hit spacebar, move it up here, and I can tell that the light's coming out this way. So if I hit spacebar again, I can rotate this down and I can make it kind of like an under cab light. Or if I press control, I can have it snap. Yeah, there we go. And it'll also tell me right down here. So I hit spacebar again and I'll move this up. And right now I've got my grid snaps on. I could just hold control to remove that. From here, I can play with the light intensity, the attenuation radius, the light color or temperature. So if I warm it up this way, I get super super orange source width and height so basically how big of a fixture it is so once that's all done this is where it gets cool because now i can just hit let me go over here i can just hit spacebar now i'm in this immersive view and now i can toggle the light on and off you see the little light icon so for me to do that manually in unreal would take a long time even to like edit these kind of doors and you know have them rotate and everything like that takes a lot of time if you don't really know what you're doing right um, so really nice that someone who's got like no experience with, you know, unreal or anything could just hop into this tool as a designer or just a client and play with the house and kind of like live through it in a digital way. Right. So I'll hit double click. Um, some other nice, cool things that I really like is if you hold down C on the keyboard, puts you in this little cine cam, um, uh, which is kind of fun because I'm a big fan of like depth of field and you know macro shots um if you find a view that you like all you have to do is hit r and now you actually have a camera so i hit stop controlling the camera that i really liked was this guy and then i can go and control it so from there i can play with the f stop the focal length and everything but i thought it was a pretty nifty way to just like create beautiful cinematic shots um so that's how that works of moving around the space you can use your up and down arrow keys to kind of play with your fov which you can see changing right here you can you can explore the scene in a couple different ways you've got your cine cam you've got your interactive view and then you just have your your editor but i find it kind of fun just to be able to auto focus on things the other cool thing uh next button is this guy this is your hdri so if i boost it it's gonna get super bright out there i can play with the rotation and that will obviously affect all my lighting in here right you can see What's going on here and here? Like, pay attention to the light coming through there. I lower this. Yeah. So, easy way to set this up. Again, I feel like anyone who can use a mouse can just dial in their light setups. Uh, then here, these are your camera settings. And like you saw, I've got all my different cameras. I can just click on them and then possess them as needed. And then lastly, you can just render out your image. Um, this does use the path tracer. So you could use that, get photorealistic images. Super easy, all the samples are exposed here. You can anti-alias it, everything. So you've got that. So as of right now, you know, you have all these features here. You can import your own meshes with this guy right here. If you wanna bring in your own chair or even your own project, uh, it does support FBX, but the dev has said that they will build bridges for more software. It's kind of the point of this, uh, this Kickstarter. So if they get the money, they can help develop the project further. Uh, you can also bring in your own materials, as you can see here and tweak any of the existing materials. So I think it's a super cool project. Um, they've done a lot in just a couple of years, and I think it's a, a unique spin on the real-time rendering engine formula, especially with the emphasis on interactivity. So excited to see what these guys do. Again, Kickstarter link is in the description, so definitely check that out. But that's it for this one. I hope you found this interesting. As always, if you have any questions, drop a comment, a like, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. See you next time.